Of course, if you give me just one moment. So, What's up, Stuzzy.com? What's up, Motion? So tell me about this project and why you were, um, why, how you got involved in the project and why this project is a dear to you and what do you think this project means to people and how it'll move them? I've asked you five questions. Five, okay. Number one, I got involved when I was approached by the OACAS um, saying that they were going to be doing an exhibit for Louis Blanche and they heard about some of my work. They were working with John Beebe, who is a renowned uh, photographer here in the city and beyond. So I said, okay, yeah, I'd love to do that, especially the fact that we got to work with a, a wide cross section of people taking portraits and marrying poetry with it. The poetry really. <laughs> She really comes straight from the words of each of the participants. Sometimes it be somebody we just grabbed off the street, yo, you want to come and take a photo? Others we reached out to people who we felt used their art, used their voice, um, used their presence to connect to young people. So, for instance, streetsy.com is a father and has also been really influential in having this voice all around the city. So I definitely wanted to have you. Enjoyed this one. You enjoyed this one. Yes. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So he's talking about this right here. Because we have this in Montreal, it's in winter. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. white night. We have that in winter, man. It's like, yeah. So a voice and someone to listen is your quote. Mm -hmm. Tell me why that uh, why that defines hope for you. Um, it defines hope for me because you know sometimes you think kids when they speak out that their message is not meaningful, but if they don't get the words out now, they take it to them when they're older, and it can be really like deep down hurt them. And, you know, so I think it's good for children to have a voice. Uh, what was it like to have to do this actual uh, project? It was fun. I was in good company with yourself, <laughs> and uh, it's good. It's good to be a part of something bigger than what you are. So, nice. It's awesome. Thank you very much, Bria. All right, take care. <laughs> so, each one of these pieces, each word is a theme that comes directly from the person who spoke it. And my challenge was to go through the tapes, listening to them speak live also uh, recorded and take one word or one quick phrase that expressed what it is that was their hope for children and then figure out to, a way to make the whole thing flow. So this is what you see right now. So I definitely have to big up John B for his great imagery. I have to big up every single person who came out to be a part of this. And you know, I think that it could be influential because it will make us think really about what are we doing here right now if we're not trying to make something better for the youth who are coming next. Shots. 
Is this your first time at Nui Blanche? No. I've been doing it for many years. Well, since the first one. What do you like most about this display? About, Nui, about this display? This display itself. Oh, yeah. That I'm not the only one that has holes. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm glad that that's what it captured. Yeah, right in front of you. That's good.